Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your October 9th to October 15th weekly love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled these three decks for you so I'm only going to shuffle these for a moment before I lay them out. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. This is for the sign of Aquarius, uh, Sun sign, and Rising. Okay, so um, if you'd like to join the group and possibly get picked for a mini free live reading, we do live readings every night and I encourage other healers, um, readers, anything, anybody who has gifts to join as well. The link will be below and anybody who's just seeking guidance, okay, because we're going to do a weekly, or not weekly, nightly mini live readings every night okay and usually I did like probably 20 people last night I was able to do and they're like maybe five minutes each could be more could be less all right and you could get picked doesn't mean you're going to this is for the sign of Aquarius the link will be down below it's called spiritual guidance live feeds on Facebook I am going to zoom this in. Beautiful. Wow. Looks good. And you are the basis of the reading. We have the Page of Swords. It does represent the sign of Aquarius as well as Libra and Gemini. <laughs> this week you may be observing a situation, being very conscientious. Maybe you're trying to focus on something very heavily. Um, I think that... A lot of you are just very curious about something, or you could be feeling restless, all right, this week. Um, and I think you're trying to refocus. You're trying to figure something out. So this is a week where you are really going within to get the answers or asking or really observing a situation. Sorry, I had to get a drink. Below that, right directly below, we have the Five of Pentacles. So this is an insecurity, feeling like you're on thin ice. So maybe some of you are feeling insecure, you know, feeling like you, you're not getting something. You're not feeling, um, maybe you're not getting the attention that you desire because we do have the Three of Swords next to it. Maybe there's some grief, okay, or some heartache or some kind of pain that is overwhelming and you're just trying to figure it out, what to do next. I think that you need to, you, it's really weighing down on you and you're being encouraged to let something go. We have the Ten of Wands here. This is a completion. When this card comes out, it says that something is you are carrying around with you is too heavy. It can even affect your health, okay? It's really time to let something go. Um, it's just a huge burden for you. Um, and I think it has to do with you not getting the attention that you are seeking and it's causing you a lot of hurt. Um, I see that you, you are, there's some kind of an awakening here, some kind of breakthrough. And I think it has to do with you being stuck in a situation. All right. And I think you've been stuck somewhere and maybe feeling like you're trapped, but it's, it's that now you're thinking about getting untrapped. All right. All right. I think you, yeah. A lot of you have a decision to make, I think, and it's about what path to take. Do you want to go left or right? I mean, what is it going to, that's, what the, that's what's going on this week. I think you're really trying to come up with the right answer and make the most wisest decision. But I think you're real, real, real close to taking action. Real close. Um, you know, I think that you're, you have a lot of self-respect for yourself. I think maybe your pride has been hurt by somebody you may have been rejected or you may be feeling rejected by somebody and you might be to a point where you're like you know what <laughs> I can't do this anymore okay you might finally have an awakening okay that causes you to choose a different path we do have the devil here as well which is also the sign of Capricorn when the devil comes out there's so again a false entrapment now you have false entrapment twice you have the devil and the Eight of Swords, feeling like a victim, something that you're being stuck in because, you know, you're comfortably stuck there. It's, it's comfortable even though there's a lot of hurt, okay? There's a lot of, um, what's the word for it? 
in action, okay? Somebody is not giving you the attention that you desire and, and you are you you don't want to leave the situation but because you're comfortable there and you have a lot of pride and the rejection is like hurts okay and it's and you're just hoping for it to change all right looks like you're hoping but I think you might finally have a wake-up call at some point that says you know what maybe it's me that needs to move on maybe it's me that needs to choose another path um, We do definitely have um, some unknown aspects going on down here. This is the unknown card. This is the Crystal Visions Tarot. It's the only deck that has this card. Okay, the only tarot deck that has this card. This card means that there's something, something that is going to happen that is unexpected. And it will be unexpected until the moment happens. It's meant to be left unknown, okay? This is the unknown that is meant to be unknown, but it came up in your reading because the universe or God, angel, spirit, whoever it is that you honor wants you to know that change is coming, okay? Change is coming after your sadness. You see, do you see the tears in her eyes, you know? It's kind of like when you hit rock bottom and you get on your knees and you're screaming out to the world that you really need some help. And they heard you. That's what this card says to me for you with this reading. Okay? So I think something is going to happen in your favor. Because we do have the judgment card here. I have to tell you that judgment also stands for um, somebody from the other side. Okay? When the judgment comes out, it can also mean that somebody from the other side is trying to communicate with you. Um, they can be trying to assist you at this time. Are you listening? Are you paying to the paying attention to the signs? It can mean that they can be trying to wake you up. Okay, um, I do see that there's some um, some of you. Now this may or may not resonate. It may re resonate with some and not others. And then bits over here might, and then the bit part over here might not. You know how that goes. I do see some power struggles here. So that could be with you and another person. We do have a Capricorn. We have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius as well. We also have uh, you, and then we have Libra and Gemini. Um, that's who we have for signs right now. I do see that you're about, I think one big, big part of your life is ending, okay? It's like you've learned some kind of lesson through all this. Okay, that because we have the world card, that means you've learned a lesson. You've learned something really big. You could have learned it over a 10-year time frame, or you could have just learned it quick. Okay, either way, a big lesson has been learned, and you're at a finish line in some with it, with something in your life, and I'm sure that you can figure out what it is. When the world card comes out, it says, congratulations. Okay. Congratulations, it's time to move on to the next lesson. That's what happens when the world card comes out, and you have that here, okay? So right underneath the world card, though, we do have the Five of Pentacles, which we were talking about earlier. That's insecurity, okay? So when the, when the Five of Pentacles comes out, it's unnecessary worry, okay? It is. There's, uh, there's no reason for you to feel the way that you feel. It's, it's definitely, there's help available. There is. You may, maybe it's counseling that you need. Maybe it's just a friend. Maybe it's money. Either way, this is unnecessary worry. There is help available. That's what this card says. All right. So if you are being challenged to start something new, um, realize that there is help for whatever it is. Okay. You may have to ask for it. Okay. Um, let me get the next deck. A lot of you have been working on healing okay that card is also yours okay that's the sign of Aquarius so I think that some of you um, are healing over some wishes that didn't that aren't being fulfilled I think you're not getting the attentions the attention that you were hoping for and it's leaving you feeling very unfulfilled all right um, you definitely, I think it's a time of renewal, all right? 
I think it's a time of freeing yourself from whatever you are feeling trapped from and renewing your vibrancy, all right? <laughs> and refocusing. I see a lot of refocusing here and bringing and, and respecting yourself uh, and uh, honoring yourself, all right? But it's going to take confidence to free yourself, okay? Because I see that you need to have confidence here. Oh, we have this card twice. This is the judgment card. The judgment card, they call it karma in this deck. It is karma. And now you have it twice. So whatever has been going on, and I said, you know, it could have been 10 years or you could have learned it quickly. Something is paid off. That's what I see. All right. And this right here is like drama. It's like you're fighting a battle that doesn't need to be fought. And it's right next to this, a whole lot of sadness. Okay. With the three of swords here too. I think that you're feeling very um, perhaps rejected over something. Oh my goodness. Three of cups or three of swords again. Oh, then we have the hangman and the queen of wands and the five of wands. Okay. So the queen of wands is Leo. The Queen of Wands is Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. We have a lot of fire here. So a lot of you are dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries person this week. And they could be the one or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart that is causing you a lot of heartache. You know, they could be part of the rejection or the grief that you're going through. But, um, or it could be the person from the other side that's trying to come through. Okay? Just, just saying. Um... But this says that you definitely need to focus your energy in, in a different direction. All right. So here we have um, the hangman. This is, a, this is a, again, a false entrapment. This is where you're stuck in a situation that you don't really need to be stuck in. Okay. Um, this is where you've like been sacrificing your time. Um, being pretty comfortably stuck you're trying to resist a change even though you need to when this card comes out it says that you must struggle through it okay so i'm gonna have to hit pause because somebody's knocking on my door i do apologize sorry about that um this right here I was, I was at the hangman. It's about resisting the change, even though that you need to. It's unnecessary drama. It's really holding you back. All right? It is. Here we have the five of wands. This is conflicts. Okay? I see that a lot of you are having a lot of inner conflicts, and it is affecting you in a heart big way. There is a lot of sadness here and a lot of hurt, but they've heard you. So rest assured that they have heard you, and they've seen you like going through this and so whatever it is i see that um you can get through it with confidence and courage all right but you're 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 trapped in a situation with the eight of swords and the devil card that's a false entrapment there could be some addictions that are trapping you you know i do see that a lot of you ha are about to start a new uh, new chapter with the world card okay you're about to start a new chapter but you're worried. You're worried about it. So we do have a lot of fire here. If you don't know who this person is, they could be coming into your life. Nine of Swords. Expecting the worst. Okay, that is exactly what is going on. There's been a lot of depression. There's been a lot of sleepless nights. Again, I mean, like I said, you guys are just resisting this change. Resisting it. There's a change that needs to happen, and you're resisting it. It could have something to do with obsessions. It could have something to do with addictions. It could have something to do with a partnership. Either way. You guys are resisting a change, and it's causing you a lot of grief. All right? The Queen of Earth says that you need to take a sensible approach. That is your advice. Take a sensible approach. Approach. Make time. It says make time for those around you. Make time for yourself. Take a sensible approach. Do the practical thing. 
All right, deal with the challenges in a kind and understanding manner. That's advice for you. I can know there's challenging. Be kind as you can. Do it, do it as, as best you can. And I know that's hard, but that's advice for you. The Three of Wands, that says that um, this is about expectations, okay? This is where um, things start to look up, all right? It says to have patience, keep, mo keep moving. Your courage and your confidence will pay off. Keep focusing on the long-term plans. Look ahead. Let go of the past. Whatever it is you're hanging on to that you're resisting, you need to let go of it. And think about the future. Move forward. Don't look back. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. Talk to you later.